What's up guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to episode potential transfers and we've got 9 players to cover in this episode guys. So as always, if you can smash 2000 likes that'd be greatly appreciated. In the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumours and on rumours I should do in the next episode. And if you to my channel, click subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And also if you missed today's first video, actually on the best ever Barkey's Premier League moments and it's actually all the clips as well. It includes the likes of Aguero's goal in QPR with the uh, massive life is my entire celebration guys. So check that out down below and let's get straight into it. And first up today we've got Liverpool's unwanted man which is going to be Fabio Barini. One of the Italians that Liverpool are actually currently trying to get rid of, along with Balotelli, is actually today linked with West Ham, according to the Daily Mirror. So the article then says that West Ham are attempting to hijack Fiorentina's bid to sign the Liverpool striker because they set to lose out to Benfica in the race side Atletico Madrid to Raul Jimenez. And given the end of Valencia is definitely injured now, for I think it's 12 weeks or something like that uh, after his injury in the Europa League qualifier. I mean, they're definitely short on strikers. And Fabio Barini, he's available, and I don't think it'd cost that much. I think the actual fee would probably be around six to eight million pounds. As uh, I mean, that's enough to get his services, and he's not actually too bad. He's got nice work rate and he shows that he can actually do something whilst he's online at Sunderland. And now moving on, we have got Adnan Yanazar potentially going to Sunderland according to the Sunderland Echo. So I'm not sure if they're just being biased or not, but apparently uh, Sunderland actually lead the race to get Adnan Yanazar from Manchester United, including Everton, who also want to take him on loan. Louvan Hal actually wants to wrap up the move for Barcelona's Pedro before letting this move go ahead because he wants cover, and especially after sending Di Maria, they definitely need to replace him. And with the likes of Depay and also Juan Mata and players like that and Ashley Young above him, he's not going to get much game time. He needs game time to improve and he can definitely do that. Sunderland so moving on then, we have got Salomon Rondon potentially going to West Brom. And this room then actually started this morning or last night and today the Times are reporting that West Brom are set to play a club record fee of £15 million for the Zenit St. Petersburg striker. He's actually already arrived for a medical with the baggies. And this could actually change the stance of West Brom of keeping hold of Berahino. And uh, I don't know if Berahino has recently signed a contract or anything, but he's actually still linked with Tottenham Hotspur and they want a striker. And I mean, it's a good replacement for him. And now we've got a pretty big one coming from Tutor Sport who has said that Ilke Gundogan could be going to Juventus. I mean, again, he actually suddenly signed a contract, I think it's like a month ago. Uh, so I, I kind of see this one a little, bit, a little bit unlikely, but it does say that Juve want a midfielder before the start of the season and remain very much interested in the German midfielder. And that is actually essentially all it says. It doesn't mention a fee or anything other than they're actually interested. So, I mean, it could just be bullshit. We'll have to wait and see on that front. And now we go on to Kazuki Honda, potentially leaving AC Milan. Now, TalkSport actually said that Everton and Tottenham are currently monitoring him after Kazuki Honda has revealed and asked AC Milan if he can leave. He definitely wants to move to the BPL as he wants a new challenge. Of course, there are other leagues he could go to, like the Bundesliga and stuff like that. But I think Everton and Spurs definitely are interested. And I think Spurs were actually linked to him before he actually moved to AC Milan. And Everton are linked to another player. This time it's going to be Shakiri of Inter Milan. The Daily Star are saying that Everton are preparing a loan move for the 23-year-old. And he's actually very, very close to joining Stoke City about a month or so ago now. But he actually denied them. And it does appear that Inter Milan definitely are trying to get rid of him. Whether that's due to attitude problems or anything like that. Because I know in the past, he has been kind of like criticised for thinking he's better than he actually is but I mean he's been linked to the likes of Liverpool in the past as well and Everton would be a good destination for him he definitely has the ability but if he does not have the actual attitude to apply to that it won't make him as good as he potentially could be but Everton could actually help him uh, like kind of rediscover himself and hopefully that move uh, that'd be quite a good call for Premier League teams next year as well and now we have got Glenn Murray and today a lot of media sources are saying that the Premier League new boys Bournemouth are expected to make an improved offer for Glenn Murray after a three million pound offer was rejected by Palace and after Conor Wickham's actually signed for Crystal Palace it does seem very unlikely that Glenn Murray will get game time um, and he definitely would get game time imagine at Bournemouth eventually they, I mean they've got the likes of King and also Callum Wilson but I mean I reckon it'd fit in somewhere and he also has a bit of Premier League experience and he does actually say that Palace would be looking for around £6 million to actually double what Bournemouth have initially offered so moving on from him we have got the probably the second biggest one of the episode that is going to be Mario Goethe potentially leaving Bayern Munich it could even be the biggest one of the episode so today Tuto Sport are saying that the agent of the Bayern Munich midfielder Mario Goethe has hinted that the 23 year old could be moving to the Premier League this summer in the transfer window the Arsenal Manchester United also shown interest it'd be an absolutely huge one and if I'm correct Mario Goethe's actual relationship with Pep Guardiola isn't the best anyway and they could actually force him onto a move after his form has recently dipped so finally we have got uh, it's going to be Pedro potentially going to Manchester United so the Daily Mirror are saying that Manchester United are yet to bid for the Barca winger as they are willing to match the release cause of 23 million pounds that's actually despite selling Di Maria to PSG for around 44 mil Louis van Gaal definitely wants Pedro but not the price that Barcelona are actually asking for again 23 million for me isn't actually that bad for a player of Pedro's ability. We'll have to wait and see, and they do need to replace Di Maria. So, on that note, guys, that's been the end of today's potential transfers. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. 2,000 likes would be greatly appreciated. In the comments below, let me your thoughts on these rumors today and the rumors I should do in the next episode. If you're to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And remember to check out today's previous video in the description below, guys. So, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.